What's up ladies and gentlemen, hope all of you are having an amazing time and today we're gonna learn an equally amazing technique on how to change ourselves into a superhero. Today, after learning this technique, anyone can turn themselves into the superhero that they like. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna change the outfits that we are wearing. It can be any outfits and we're gonna transform that into a Spider-Man costume. And this can be done by absolutely anyone and anyone can become a superhero. All you need is one computer and five minutes at hand. Before I get down to the tutorial, if you want to follow all these amazing costume designs that I made using artificial intelligence, you can check out my Instagram page. It goes by the name Tam Film Factory. Here's a snippet and you can follow me up and hit me up with questions or tutorial requests, anything, and I will respond back to you definitely. Step number one, we're gonna take photos of a particular subject. Here I've taken photos of some of my friends and I made sure that they were wearing tights because spider costume is always tight. So step number one was taking the photo of the subject and step number two is going to be going to the artificial intelligence that's called Stable Diffusion. So Stable Diffusion is a software and at the same time it is a website. And now to run this website you have to install the Stable Diffusion software. And how to install Stable Diffusion artificial intelligence? The link is in the description, you can go and check that out. There are lots of tutorials on YouTube and it's very easy, it takes about a couple of minutes. And we are going to the in paint section of stable diffusion because we don't want to change the entire image. We want to keep the face same. We want to keep the background same. We just want to change the outfit. That's why we're going to the in paint section. So now in this in paint section, we paint out the costume part, paint out the dress using this black ink that is there in the page itself. And then coming down to the next step, it's going to be writing the text prompt. So I have written this text prompt where I say spider suit, web costume, Spider-Man outfit, Spider-Man cosplay. And then I have added some extra texts that are basically enhancers that make sure that the image is really crisp and tight and cinematic. And then on the negative prompts, I have written down some texts that I do not want. I don't want it to be blurry. I don't want it to be unrealistic, etc, etc, etc. So after that, we get our final images when we click on generate. And definitely down here, we're using the control net version of depth. Why are we using depth? Because it is a way of making the stable diffusion artificial intelligence realize that there is a distance between the subject and the background. It will make the it will make the AI understand that the subject is in front and the background is behind the subject. And there are various other control nets, for example, Canny and Open Pose. Open Pose is very good for making costumes as well because it takes out the pose that the human being is standing in and generates images based on that. But here for this tutorial, we're going to use depth. So these are the results that I have got. And after getting these results, the next step is going to be going down to Photoshop and pasting these images on top of the, our original image. And then we need to delete out and erase out all the imperfections and we need to keep only the perfect images that we have. Alright guys, now that we know how to change ourselves into a superhero, now let me give you some bonus tips. So the Stable Diffusion Artificial Intelligence, it uses some models to generate its images and art. So what are models? Models are basically reference images. So if we want to create a Spider-Man uh, image, we have to have a model that has references of Spider-Man. If you want to create an image which is sci-fi futuristic Star Wars style, we need a model that has references of Star Wars. And there is a website where you're gonna get countless models. This website goes by the name Civit AI. Now, for this tutorial, since I changed my friends into Spider-Men and Spider-Women, I used a model that has references of Spider-Man images. So this model is called the Spidey model and you're gonna find similar models for other fantasy outfits or anything that you imagine. It's all there in this website called Civit AI. You just need to download the models from Civit AI and add it to the stable diffusion folder that you have. And the rest is gonna be smooth as butter. So that's the end of this tutorial. But which superhero do you want to be next? Do let me know. Which tutorial do you want? Do let me know in the comment section and I'm gonna give it to you. And until then, see you next time.